This video provides instructions for installing the HRN BS16T2 Geotab Y harness. The instructions include two different scenarios. The first being for vehicles that have an OBD port that is mounted with an L bracket. The second is for vehicles that have an OBD port that snaps or clips in. The Geotab Y harness is designed to plug into the OEM OBD port. The harness then provides a port and bracket using two common mounts to install a harness port into the original OEM port location. The Geotab Go device is then installed in the harness's remaining port and zip tied to a stable location in the dash, such as a cross brace. In our first example, the OEM port is replaced with a harness port that mounts on an L bracket with screws. The first step in the installation is to locate the factory OBD port. The vehicle used in this example is a Ford F-250. The ports in most F-Series trucks are located in the area under the dash on the driver's side. Once we have located the factory port, any panels that provide better access to the area around the port are removed. With good access to the factory port, we will now remove the screws securing the port. Now that the port and the mounting bracket is removed, we can now plug in the harnesses port. This connection is now secured using a zip tie. Next, we will secure the bracket included with the harness to the original location of the factory port using the vehicle's original screws. The factory and harness connectors along with the harness wiring are now secured inside the dash using zip ties. The GO device is now connected to the remaining port on the harness. The GO device to harness connection is secured with a zip tie. Finally, the GO device is secured to a bracket in the dash that is fully secure and moves only with the chassis of the vehicle. If the device moves separately, false positives can be reported. Now that our installation is complete, the dash panels removed for access are replaced. Here is the newly installed harness port. In our next example, we will perform an installation for a vehicle that uses the clip in port. The steps are the same, just the mounting bracket differs. As in our first example, we locate the OBD port and remove any dash panels that can make the installation more accessible. Now it's time to remove the factory OBD port. Using a pointed tool of some type, press the clip release on the port. Once pressed, the port is easily removed. Comparing the harness port with the factory port, you can see the lock tabs are the same. This allows the harness port to simply clip into place of the factory port. Our next step is to connect the harness main port to the vehicle's OBD port. As in our first example, a zip tie is used to secure the connection.
Next, we insert the harness port into the factory bracket. The port snaps into place. Now we will install the GO device in the remaining port. In this installation, the L bracket is not needed, so it will be removed prior to connecting the device. Next, we position and secure the harness wires in the dash using zip ties. With the GO device connected, we secure the connection with zip ties. Finally, the GO device is mounted to a bracket within the dash that is fully secure and moves only with the chassis of the vehicle. If the device moves separately from the vehicle, the device can report false positives. Finally, we're ready to replace any dash panels removed for access. In summary, the GeoTab wire harness provides two different mounting types. This allows for the use of factory mounts to secure the harness port. The first mounting method includes an L bracket that matches the footprint and screw holes for the factory mount. The second includes a bracket that snaps into the port for vehicles that do not use the L bracket mount. This concludes our video. Thank you for viewing.